So how does one solve an equation? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years. And solving equations aren't our most favorite things to do, but once you see the process, it's actually going to be pretty straightforward. Now, the more unknowns you have, the more complex that makes an equation. But let's just start with the most introductory level and start off by solving an equation with one variable. So you get to see exactly how the process starts to work. So here's an illustration. Suppose you have the equation 2x minus 3 is equal to 7. Now, the objective is, is to see 2 times what number, and then minus 3 is equal to 7. Now, the first thing to do is you want to be sure you want to find out what x has to be. So the very first thing that you always want to be on top of is make sure that the term with the x is by itself. So that means because the minus 3 has nothing to do with x, you want to move that number over to the other side. So what you want to do is, because the number is subtracted by 3 on this left-hand side, you want to go ahead and use the opposite operation to get rid of it. So in other words, since you're subtracting by 3, you want to add 3 to this side. But in an equation, you always want to preserve balance. So that means what you do to one side, you have to do the exact same thing to the other side. So that means if you add 3 to this side, you have to add 3 to this side as well. So as a result, you have 2x, which you never touched, negative 3 plus 3, which completely cancels out, and then 7 plus 3 you know is 10. And then all you have to do is ask yourself, well, 2 times what number is going to give you 10? Well, if you're pretty solid in your multiplication tables, you know immediately that x is going to be 5. Or, here's the other way to do it. It's 2 times x. So if you want to get x by itself, again, you use the opposite operation. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So divide both sides by 2. So as a result, 2 divided by 2 completely cancels. You have x equals 2. And 10 divided by 2 is going to give you 5. So that missing answer that you're looking for is 5. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's an introduction on how to solve an equation.